I first brought my children into work with me because I found that my technique was really rigid and I just found that it brought visual interest to the work to have these really loose gestural marks right up against really tight, refined, figurative painting. And that has evolved into a much more special collaboration with my children where they are often the first and the last mark makers of a work. My name is Marikit Santiago. I am an artist living and working in Parramatta, Darug land in Western Sydney. I want my practice to help my children understand who they are because for me, growing up in Australia as a second generation migrant was quite challenging and I found it really difficult to acknowledge and accept my ethnic identity. And I don't want my children to suffer those hardships of not accepting who you are. I also don't want to shelter them from it, but I just want them to learn to understand it. So I dedicate my practice to them and I invite them to work with me. And I really enjoy these moments because they could be fleeting. They might not want to work with me forever. I will make threats. <laughs> hey, I love you, baby. The La Prairie Art Award is an acquisitive prize that celebrates contemporary Australian women artists. The award is presented by the Art Gallery of New South Wales and the Swiss luxury skincare house La Prairie. It consists of acquisition of works for the collection of the Art Gallery of New South Wales and an overseas residency for the artist. Marikit's work is visually beautiful, technically complex and conceptually rich. What I think is especially interesting about her work is that she treats art and life as two inseparable entities. I think I'm drawn to portraiture, honestly, because I'm good at it. I think people long to see themselves represented and I think portraiture is the easiest way to connect with a viewer. I very carefully select my subjects to represent certain communities, the Filipino community, migrant communities, Western Sydney communities, mothers. So when I make my portraits, I challenge those historical representations of all these communities that I represent. I use cardboard as the painting supports in my work. Symbolically, the use of cardboard refers to the making do aspect of the Filipino people that I really admire. Philos will make use of anything that's available to them. More significantly, the cardboard refers to a long-standing tradition of the Balik Bayan box. So the Balik Bayan box is a practice that uh, migrants from all around the world still continue to do today, and they will pack a box of aid to send back to their family in the Philippines. I think food is at the center of our families. Everything, like it's how we show affection to each other. It's how we celebrate together. It's how we connect with each other. Every week we gather at my parents' place and we share a family meal, we call it FDN, family dinner night. When shown together, the two works that are entering the gallery's collection really are a powerful comment on the complexity of intergenerational relationships in Marikit's family. The title, A Seat at the Table, refers to the personal intimate seat at our family table, but also the metaphor of providing an opportunity. These works I made to honour my parents and to reflect on what their migration to Australia has meant for me and my sister. My parents take centre stage in the composition of A Seat at the Table, Magulang. My tata is seated at the table, my nana stands behind him and it shows those power plays. My nana is wearing what we call a duster, which is the type of garment that you would only wear at home, you would never wear it out. And so I've taken that house dress and sort of glorified it in a way. Before them, they have the head of a lichon. It's a whole suckling pig, and it's usually only reserved for big celebrations. The lichon represents the opportunities and the celebrations and the privileges that my parents have provided to me and my sister by migrating to Australia. On the other panel of this diptych, a seat at the table, Kapated, you'll see me and my sister Jay, and I'm sitting slightly in front of her because I'm the eldest in the family, the panganai, and there are certain responsibilities that a panganai 
takes on that Abunso, the youngest in the family, don't. <laughs> in the foreground is a reticulated python, which can be found in Australia and the Philippines. And that python represents the biblical symbolism of temptation and sin, but it also represents a rebirth. As snakes can shed their skin, they're considered to be magical creatures that can have a second life. And so I feel that that's what my parents have provided to us. And in giving us this life here in Australia, we can choose whatever we want to do. If you do look closely, you'll find that there are marks made by my children. They weave in and out of the different layers of the painting. I never thought I'd be considered for the La Prairie Art Award. Having portraits that really celebrate my parents as migrants enter the collection of the Art Gallery of New South Wales is very exciting. It's a tangible reward for the sacrifice that they've made that have ultimately allowed me to pursue this career and raise a family. And I'm really, really grateful to be able to share this with my family.